I'm LaDonna Boyd presenting the curriculum lesson for the week of October 10th, 2021. The title of this week's lesson is Ball of Confusion, and it comes from Psalm chapter 9, verses 1 through 12. You can follow along with us in the Adult Christian Life book from R.H. Boyd. Have you ever needed someone to stand up on your behalf? Or have you ever had to stand up on behalf of someone else? The psalmist in this lesson is grateful because God has taken up his cause. Psalm 9 verses 1 through 4 say, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds, and I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turned back, they stumbled and perished before you. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. The psalmist is thankful for God's judgment. It is only those who believe that they stand on the side of God who are grateful for that judgment. God's judgment is frightening and terrifying for those who are not on the side of righteousness. It can be terrifying to think about God exercising judgment against us. We know that His power and wrath are great, but we also know that He has the power to be gentle with us and give us corrective instruction. There is much to sing praises for. He avenges the blood of His people and makes a memory of those who try to destroy us no longer. He judges in righteousness and does not fail in His understanding. We should rejoice that God can uphold the cause of those who trust in Him and pursue that which is right in His eyes. Sometimes it can be confusing to think about how God's goodness has been bestowed upon us. They can also seem confusing or unfair if we feel as though we receive undue punishment or suffering. Psalm 9 verse 8 says, He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness, which is alluded to in Acts 17 verse 31, concerning the final days of judgment at the Lord's return. Jesus will judge all as the risen Lord of all the world. Appreciating this means that we live before the presence of God. We must realize that all things work together for the mission of drawing us near to God and bringing others into the kingdom. In closing, meditate on the blessings in your life and share these thoughts with your neighbor, friend, or someone who has specifically impacted your life. Again, I'm LaDonna Boy, and I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Also check us out on our social media accounts at rhboyco and our website, www.rhboy.com.